they did, they wouldn't think twice about you. Please let me make that clear. If this person was not going through the bullshit they were going through, this person would not think twice about you. I really hope you understand that when they come knocking at your door, needing your help. You are seen as one in a million. Your king of cups, queen of cups, take it how it resonates. They see you as one in a million. They know you're unique. And they're going to want, they're going to help you breathe a sigh of relief. This person wants to give you um, a rest period. This person wants to like kiss it and make it all better. Like your divine counterpart. It's your true twin flame. This karmic ex could have been your false twin flame if you believe in that. Not everyone has a twin flame. Like I said, take it how it resonates. But if somebody had... Um, a false twin flame, your true twin flame could be on its way. And that's a that's a beautiful thing. It really is. I'm really happy for you that find that. I really am. Uh, true story. <clears throat> and something could be happening in the nighttime. So um, you were seen as one in a million. You're going to be breathing a sigh of relief. And something's going to be happening in the nighttime for you. So congrats for some of you. And then for... Yeah, like I said, if this karmic ex shows up, he's yanking your chain. He only needs someone to take care of him. I can't make this shit up. I literally just said that shit. If he comes knocking or she, take it, you, you know, flip the rules. Like, it can still resonate whether you're a male or female. A Taurus could be involved or a Capricorn could be involved. Um, but if this person comes knocking on your door needing help, it's just to use you and abuse you further. If this person, if you were with this person in the past, and this just fell out, so I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one, Capricorn, because it did fall out. So I'll go ahead and keep Capricorn. <clears throat> Someone struck out three times. Someone did something way too many times. And easier said than done. Easier is one, two, three. So this person thought it would be so easy to take you out. They may have even tried to unalive you three times. I'm not shitting you. I am not shitting you. They wanted to divide and conquer you. But this person um, did something. They may have even paid somebody to do this. But they attempted it at least three times. So you know what? If I'm laughing that this person is passing away, it's the energy. Because this person truly deserves it. They are evil and a dick and sadistic, male or female, dick, bitch, whatever. Like, this person is just, <clears throat> this person was a loose cannon. They had a, a short temper. They were very explosive. And they really tried to, they tried to set you up like, oh my gosh, this person was evil. <clears throat> they did not want you to have your moment in the sun. But you have the wisdom of the ages. Whatever traps they set for you, you escape this shit. Oh, my God. All righty. All right. We're going to see if we can't get some clarification. I don't know what all my decks are called. I have, like, 21, and some of them I made myself. And these purple ones were the very first deck I ever owned, and I love these. I actually... Um, you know, back in 2020, I would not even have tarot cards in my house. And my daughter had me order them on Amazon for her. And one day I picked them up and started playing with them. And I realized that it was connected to my energy. Like it was telling everything that was going on with me. And I actually took them from her and ordered her a new set. Because I was like, no, these are mine. They're connected to me. <laughs> you can't have them anymore. <clears throat> and then I taught myself how to do this. Like, you know, not every reader reads the same. Not every reader has the same gifts. And I'm not dissing any other reader. So, um, you know, we all have our own gifts and talents. So, blessed be, you know. I love y'all. You are set free from a situation. You are in your Queen of Pentacles energy. And something is being laid to rest. And this could be even a family member. This could be a karmic family member. So, I know I've done a few past readings. And this um, karmic ex of yours was working with a parental figure. Mostly mother kept coming up. But like I said, you have to take it how it resonates. It could be a, a you know mother or father. Both of them could be in bad health and could be passing away. Maybe they slept with each other and contracted the same STD, you know. Not everybody goes through the same stuff, but something is going to happen to both of them. What up, boo? You're the high priestess. You can embody any, any of the major arcanas. You, you are, um, you're a... Uh, you're a masterpiece. You truly are one in a million because whatever these people set up for you, you are not meant to survive it. I'm, I'm not even going to, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to lie. Whatever these, um, people, I'm going to say people, even though this one energy is the only one that's come out so far. Um, 
I'm going to say it because I, I know that they were, they were not working alone. Someone in your family worked with this person to unalive you and, um, you survived, you know, you have divine protection. You truly are, truly are protected. I just wanted to take a moment to say that. So don't forget that you're here for a reason. Please do not ever forget that. Someone's left looking like a fool because someone still sees you as their Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups already came out, and this literally just fell over. So I'm going to go ahead and take it. So this literally just fell out of my hand. So this person was a fool because whatever they did was be, is being brought to light. And Scorpio, that's double confirmation for a Scorpio. Scorpio is definitely involved. Um, there, there were two people at least working together, and what they did is being brought to light. What they did in the darkness is being brought to light. Um, you know, I look at the surrounding cards and I read it based on, um, what comes out. Sometimes I would look at this as a divine union coming together, but with the, with the other cards and the energy of the reading, um, and the way I read my cards, I don't read them traditional, like how other people traditionally do. I just, I, I did, you know, I taught myself how to do this. So initially I did start out doing it that way, but um, you know, you have to look at the surrounding cards. So with this energy, I am definitely getting that what there, I literally just said there was more than one person involved and that's exactly what came out there. There were at least two people working behind the scenes and it's being exposed. They did some shit in the dark. A Scorpio already came out. So that's double confirmation. I'm on the right track. All right, y'all. <clears throat> and this is not going to resonate with everybody. And man, I feel bad for some of you because man, I know, I know <laughs> you don't think I know, but I know, <laughs> I know when some of you say you've been dealing with this shit for your whole lives, I know, <laughs> especially if you're karmic as your mother, I know <laughs> you are held in high honor. There is a hierophant. There is an official um, person coming into your energy and this could be your king of cups, but you are going to get something that's going to go in your favor and this could be an official judgment <clears throat> and this could be, um, yeah, this could be a judgment against both of these people. Cause look, okay. There are two, I never noticed this before. I, I can't believe I never noticed this before, but we had these two people working under the moonlight together. These two wolves, these two dogs and a Scorpio. And here on the Hierophant card, there's two people kneeling under an official person. Okay. That could be anybody of high regard. That could be a judge, lawyer, um, that could be a high priest, high priestess, you know, like this is an official person and there are two people kneeling. So there are two people that are in big ass trouble and that may be why, um, <clears throat> they choose to opt out, especially if they've hacked into your accounts or anything like that, stolen your information. Um, if they did illegal shit and they could be facing jail time, some of them may choose to opt out. What did I say? The emperor in reverse coming out again. This is a tyrant and he was working with someone. He didn't work alone. And this could be a sheet. Just take it how it resonates folks. Please don't let's not play semantics, but, um, I feel like I got to say it every time, but man, you know, this person was a tyrant. Like they were willing to do anything at any cost. <clears throat> and they were left looking like a fool because that's why they have red on their face. You said goodbye to them and thank God you did. You know, and now they have a problem, but that's their problem. That's not your problem. <laughs> How is that your problem? It's not. It really is not. I didn't realize we were into this almost <clears throat> 24 minutes already. Time flies when you're having fun. But yeah, this, this is a fun read. <clears throat> this emperor wanted you left alone by yourself. But guess what? You walked away from that motherfucker, male or female. They thought they were hurting you, but you walked away from them. So make it make sense how you left this person, but yet they thought they were hurting you because you were by yourself. What the hell are they smoking? And yet they called you a drug addict, but yeah, they're the ones that are snorting pills or whatever they're doing. I just read the cards. I just read the energy and that's what, what came out. This person didn't want you to be happy. They wanted you to be miserable, but you're not codependent. You can chill by yourself because you're healed, dude. Or boo. Take it how it resonates. 
<clears throat> this person is trying to keep it hidden that they worked with a group of people. This came out earlier today. To milk your finances. I cannot make this shit up. I swear. I swear on everything. This came out in a reading. Exactly. Those cards together. And there's a group that are walking away from these people. The same group that worked with this person are walking away because they know it's all about money. But somebody wants you. Somebody wants you. Okay. Somebody wants to kiss and make it all better. And thank God. It's about time. It is about time. Seriously. It is about time. Alright, nothing else is wanting to come out of there. So, let's... Um, dear. Uh, you know what? I'm going to pick up my Wizard of Oz cards for a minute and we'll see. We'll just see. <clears throat> well, something's wanting to come out, that's for sure. Yep, there we go. God, I cannot make this shit up. What? Someone's going to be passing away. Try not to celebrate, you know, like if you order balloons, like try not to sell the place out, you know, like save some for people for birthday parties or some shit like <laughs> I cannot make this up. Death has come out so many times. This person is going to pass away, whether it's from an overdose or something like mm -hmm. <sighs> <clears throat> Someone was in absolute shock at how disloyal this person was at the links. Somebody found out the links that this person went to to destroy you. Like, somebody is shocked. Like, shocked, shocked. And this is an official person. I've seen other readers read this card as an official person. So, you know what? In this case, I feel like I'm going to take it in that. And it could be an immature energy, but I'm going to take it as an official person based on, uh, you know, the surrounding cards and the energy I'm feeling. But... There is somebody connected to the courts, investigation, whatever, but somebody found out something that shocked the shit out of them. And this, um, this karmic ex is stuck. He's the tin man. He can't come towards you because you are the divine empress or emperor. Take it out, resonates, but can't touch this. No, 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 no. That's what I'm hearing, MC Hammer. You can't touch this. No, 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 no. <laughs> And that's what kills them. That's what kills them is they could have been doing this for years, years of hard work. You know how much money they spent trying to take you out and they're going to be the ones that are going to pass away. How ironic is that shit? Yeah. You went through a transformation. The, these official people are shocked at the transformation that they saw you go through after what this disloyal person put you through you know toto and the upright he's a loyal person loyal companion in the reverse he is not loyal he is disloyal and someone is shocked you know about these official people there's more than one official person in this card there's like at least one other person in this card these officials are shocked about what they found out they you might have known they tried to unalive you let me tell you you might have known but they didn't believe you or they, they couldn't, you know, or they didn't know. They either didn't want to believe it or they didn't know. But they found out something that um, this person was a sadist. Like this person did the, the worst of the worst and involved your children. Whether you have children or not. Okay, if the rest of the message resonates but you just don't have children, it can still apply. Just calm down with that bullshit, okay? Like, no disrespect, but just calm down. If you don't have children, the rest of the message can still apply to you. Alright? What up, boo? Your emperor wants to come. Or empress. So, you... Okay, so... Let's get some closing messages. Um, this is crazy, but yeah. I, I, it just keeps coming out the same stuff over and over. But basically... Um, yeah. This um, karmic ex of yours is going to be passing away. Um, not require came out. Let me see. So I feel like not require means that you don't have to take any action. No other further action is required. These people were investigating something. They found out the truth. Community. What did I say? You don't need to do anything else. Not require community. 
this person made an ass of themselves all by themselves and uh, they did something one too many times and there was an investigation and this person um if they wanted you to not be on this earth that is exactly what's coming back to them and they need you needing it came out they need you now because now they know they're screwed they did so much to destroy you and you have divine protection because you're still alive. If you didn't have divine protection, you would not still be here. I can promise you that. In the field, needing help in the field. So, um, yeah, your ex is going to be coming to you in, in the field. I take that as like, I don't know, I feel like cops, detectives in the field. So, um, someone could be still keeping an eye on you, even though an investigation may be wrapping up. Um, there may still be um, people out in the field watching you, undercover agents. I'm getting undercover out in the field. Undercover out in the field. That's what I'm getting from that. Thought. Oh, snap. It could be one of these undercover agents or someone. It could even be the investigator themselves that has fallen for you, male or female. Take it how it resonates. Way to go. So this person fell in love with you while watching you. And it could be that lawyer, too. You never know. An experience. They thought th this person that's been watching you thought they had seen it all. But they didn't experience anything until they came across you because they, you're the real deal. You know, there's a lot of people who have people investigated that are actually guilty of stuff. But they never investigated someone who was actually innocent. <laughs> How messed up is that? They never investigated someone who was actually innocent. That is way to go, boo. Male or female, masculine, high priest or priestess, way to go. I'm proud of you. You know, spirit's proud of you. Um, and I feel like we should just close it there. I feel like this was a good read. Um, and we're already 32 minutes long, and um, it, it'll take a while to upload. You know, my, my phone's a little pain sometimes about the uploading speed. But, um, man, I hope this helps. Have a good night, folks. Anna, I hope you're having a good weekend because some of you guys are going to be celebrating soon. Like I said, leave some leave some balloons there for the little kids' birthday parties and stuff, you know? All right, have a good night. As always, do everything with a cup of love, even if you're celebrating with that celebratory drink. Drink responsibly and cheers. <laughs> for real, though. For real. Cheers. You've earned it. You've earned it. Good night.